Good day. Welcome to Game Rose Everything. We got out the Commodore 64, so I got a whole pile of these bad boys, and all have some kind of fault. They all don't turn on, and I do have one that turns on. gets kind of like garbly stuff all over the screen. So that's like, I think, the one that was working, and the other ones, I got at least three right here that I know do not turn on. So I went online, and I bought a C64 dead test cartridge from the future was 8bit.com. If you look on the, see the fast load cartridge, same cartridge. Pretty cool. I like them because they're like little stubby ones, but got a little reset button so you can reset start the test. And I already played with this a little bit and it looks like it might be kind of useful. I, I just want to narrow things down a little bit. I don't go super detailed testing. There's like harnesses and things like that for some of these guys. But this one seems like it's nice and simple. Plug it in, let it run the test and kind of tell you hopefully what's wrong. It comes with a piece of paper. And this is very crucial, very crucial, this piece of paper here. Basically what it does, the first part, um, if the memory fails, it'll just flash the screen, like a white flash, like one, two, three, four, five, six times over and over. And you can see that'll kind of narrow it down, which uh, 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 chip is bad of the memory. And then if that goes past that part, it'll kind of give you a nice graphical interface and kind of does screen RAM, color RAM, main RAM, and power up RAM test. That's the main, the first part. So nice and simple. I just want to plug it in and see what's wrong. That hopefully will help me narrow it down what's wrong with these bad boys. So I figured we would test these. I don't have any parts or anything right now, but at least we can say, okay, this has a uh, bad memory. This has a bad PLA. That's something like that. So basically jam the cartridge in the hole, in the cartridge hole. Get those out of the way. There we go. Let's see what happens. I think I have one of these though. Like, let's see, that has two flashes. So that tells me it is dim. D6. So see two, two flashes, number of flashes, D6. So that has a bad uh, dim RAM module. So that's kind of good. So we can probably replace that at some point. Because I don't have any parts yet. Maybe I'll take one, make it a donor. And hopefully, the problem is I don't know what's good and what's bad. They're all broken. So taking a part from another one, I'm just taking a broken part and screwing myself over. But let's try the next one here. Let's plug the next one in. And that fellow there. And this fellow here. Plug the cartridge. I like simple and easy. Yeah, see this one, the, you know, the light doesn't turn on. It does say it takes five to 10 seconds for it to start the test. Bueller. Let's hit the reset button. One, two, three, four, five, six. So six flashes is a data bit faulty D2. So that's D2. Let's start it over. Just see if we get the same result. And we're just getting one flash. And try it again. Now we're getting seven flashes. Could this one have multiple memory modules bad? Memory chips bad? There's the one flash. I'm not sure if the reset button. Okay, so it's just showing one. So I would say probably D7 is bad. So we're just getting one flash. So we believe we may have a bad uh, RAM module on this one, a RAM chip, possibly. At least it's a good start because that'll get us we can replace a part and see what else fails. Hey, I'm missing a key. Oh no, I'm missing a key too. 
and find out where that key went. I know they had all the keys. Then we have one last one. I think it's this fellow here. We'll plug this fellow in. I said, I know these worked, and is it possible that maybe I had a bad uh, power supply? Plugged it in and something fried out because I was flipping around testing power supplies. And I'm thinking maybe that's what kind of screwed these over. Let's, let's look and see what this one does. It does nothing. Okay. And one had a garbled screen, very garbled, which I think is a memory problem. Oh, there we go. So that, okay, there we go. This one is actually working. So zero page okay, stack page. So my main goal is with this is just to kind of narrow down the problem so if they're easily fixable, I can fix them. At least I'd like to have two, two nice working uh, Commodore 64s. You always have to have a backup. Okay, so it looks like it's doing the screen RAM. I'm going to, have to kind of look and see what this 4164, U9, U10, you can see them on here. Revision, E revision. Let's see. <clears throat> so it's U21. Okay, color RAM. If that's normal. Uh, any faults in the color RAM indicated to 1014 have replaced. And the remainder of the main RAM is now tested. Let's take about 30 seconds. During this time, the lower memory will be overwritten. Okay. Well, the fonts used to draw the screen, so the screen will be blank. Okay, so this is the main RAM test. Then it will do a sound test. <laughs> Not sure if this really checks. Okay, so it's starting over. So I'm not sure exactly. Did it really tell me what's broken on this guy? Not really. I do not know. <clears throat> it looks like it's just going to start over. This one has me baffled because I could have swore this was the working one. We can see we have no picture. Can you see a picture? Anybody? I did test okay with the cartridge, so I'm not sure. I'm definitely going to do some research on this, and then I think maybe in the next video, on when we pull these bad boys out, we'll try fixing a couple of them. Because just today, I just want to see what is broken, if I can determine what's broken. But we did determine that. We believe two of them had bad memory. This one, I do not know. And this one, like I said, this one was the working one. Hmm. I don't know. Anyway, thought we'd share the C64 dead test cartridge. I think this is going to be kind of useful, especially if I get some more Commerce 64s. At least I can determine it's like, hey, it's got bad memory. It's got bad something. And kind of point me in the right direction. I think this was maybe 20 bucks. I really can't beat it. 20 bucks to do some uh, troubleshooting. Not too bad. So anyway, hope you guys enjoy the video. But you guys have a great day.